let's have a look at question two in this video so we're looking for a job every search costs us two euros times the round number so that would be two times one for the first round two times two for the second round two times three and so on the wage is distributed on zero to a hundred euros we have searched three times so far and the best wage we found is 50 euros question one are the search costs we paid relevant to decide whether we're gonna continue searching or not well let's think about it what does it mean to continue searching that means that we are taking a risk we're taking a risk of having a higher wage or not relative to the cost we're gonna pay so we don't know what's gonna happen meaning that we're dealing with uncertainty when we're dealing with uncertainty we're dealing with expected values in this case we're dealing with an expected benefit of a wage higher than 50. whenever we deal with expectations we're dealing with probabilities so we would have a probability of having a wage higher than 50 and we're gonna have a benefit of having a wage higher than 50. so we'll have to figure these two out now that would be good if this offsets our costs if this is at least higher than the cost of searching and the cost of searching for a fourth time right if we continue searching that would be the fourth time the cost of searching would be two times four so that would be equal to eight euros now if our expected benefit would be at least eight euros we're gonna try again if not we won't did we ever touch here the discussion about the first three um, uh, searches no we didn't because they don't matter all we think about is forward we think about these probabilities if it's worth it or not so in other words the first three searches don't matter and to put it in economics uh, language that's just some costs they don't matter so we only uh, compute the expected values from now we only compute expected benefit and decide so no they don't matter now let's have a look at question two are we actually gonna do it are we gonna search a fourth time and let's solve this question on a graph because that's gonna make more sense let's take some space and do it so over here we know the distribution is between 0 to 100 euros the distribution of our wage so far we have a wage of 50 so far we have a wage of 50 which is the midpoint now we are wondering if we have a chance of getting a wage higher than that so we are interested in this area over here what's happening there now what did we say we need two things we need the proportion the sorry we need the probability i wanted to make this connection we need the probability and in this case the probability is the same as proportion why is it the same as the proportion because we're dealing with areas this is a ratio of this blue area relative to this entire length in other words the probability of having a wage higher than 50 euros is this blue length which is 100 minus 50 100 minus 50 relative to the entire length which is 100 minus 0 that would be 50 divided by 100 which is 1 over 2 so we found our probability what did we say we also need the benefit to find out the expected benefit we need the probability which we just found but we also need the benefit what would be the 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 extra value the extra wage for us well the extra wage for us if we think about it in expectations the best guess that we can have is the average because we have no reason to think that the wage is going to be 53 euros or 87 or 91 all we can predict is going to be the average and when we have just two points in our data so 50 and 100 the average would be the median the midpoint the middle point and the middle point between them it would be 75 which is 25 from 50 and 25 from 100 to prove it mathematically the benefit in this case would be the difference between 150 so the benefit of having a wage greater than 50 would be the midpoint so that would be 100 minus 50 divided by 2 which is 50 over 2 uh, over 2 and that's equal to 25 so indeed in in uh, expectation our benefit would be 25 more euros it's this it's this area over here which is half of this blue proportion of this blue area 
So in expectation, we would have a benefit of 25 euros, but just with a probability of 1 over 2. So we have to combine these two facts to calculate the expected benefit. And remember, the expected benefit, that's the probability times the benefit. So in our case, the expected benefit of having a wage higher than 50, let me go to the right to have the space, would be equal to 1 over 2 times 25, and that's equal to 12.5. So that's the expected benefit. And what did we say? In order to decide, we're going to compare the expected benefit versus the cost. So we have the expected benefit of 12.5 euros. The cost we said would be 2 euros times the fourth round, which is 2 times 4, 8 euros. We can see that 12.5 is higher. So in expectation, we have a good shot of looking for a higher wage and we will do it. So yes, we are going to go for the fourth search. And in the answer key, will you search? The answer should be yes. And that's it. We are done.